Hi, I'm Nick. Hi, I'm Pia. And we, we love, love to, to smell. smell. <laughs> uh, this week we'll mostly be smelling roses. Roses. Everything smells of roses this week. Everything is coming up roses. In Indeed. fact, it's good Let's luck do... for you to watch this because everything will smell of roses for you this week. Absolutely. One of the reasons we are talking about roses is that rose has been a massive trend in sort of 2015, 2016, and mm -hmm. it's set to continue actually. Yeah. Um, and through. yeah. And there's a lot of rose fragrances that are kind of doing rose and mask, rose and lychee, mm -hmm. rose and fruit, other fruit, yeah, berries. Yeah, like blackcurrant or something yeah, like that as yeah. well. Yeah, and, and raspberries. So, yeah, a lot. I lots see a of lot berries, of, yeah. Lots of berries. So, let's start with Eli Saab. Mm -hmm. So, Le Parfum. Yeah. It's Le Parfum Rose Couture yeah. by uh, Eli, Ali, Eli Saab. I don't know, is it Eli? No idea. I don't know either. Oops. Correct <laughs> us. Tell us in the comments if yeah. you know. Um, but this is one of the nicest examples of a really modern fashion rose. It's a kind of an elegant, shy rose with a lot of musk. But this, okay, so if you want to have a sort of designer fragrance at the higher end of designer fragrance, yeah. this is it. It's plush. It's plush. And I wore it, plush, good word. So it is very elegant, very, very easy to wear. And this is the sort of thing, I mean, I'm a fan of this house, by the way. I yes. think everything from them, I've got one of Has it all been somewhere. done by Francis Kirchner? Uh, probably, yeah. Yeah. Which, Which explains it. Is an exceptional perfumer. Yeah. What are we okay. spending next? Okay, so next we have, and I've got to do this for effect. <laughs> okay. Jingle jangle. So, okay, let's have a sniff. Ooh, 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 ooh. it's very available. Now, to oh. me, this is playful. It is. This is really good fun. It is black currant. Yeah. Basically shooting up at you from there. Um, you don't really get a rose at all when you first smell it. Um, mm, no. No, not really. No, you're kind of like, ooh, fruity. Yeah. And, and it's really exuberant, very really bright. Mm -mm, uh, absolutely. Um, <sighs> very playful, very mischievous even. Mm -hmm. and uh, yeah, it's definitely easy going very good. Easy going And as the rose starts to come out, yeah. it becomes very crisp. It does. There's it's a like, crisp green note, definitely. Yeah. Um, but the rose is it's quite interesting here mm. because where um, in the first one the musk was pushing the rose. Yeah. This is the rose is pushing all the other elements. So it's yeah. kind of the rose is there as the frame, and mm -hmm. then they've got all these else fruits kind of and leaves it. and stems and yeah. all these things in it. So next we have. Say to camera. <laughs> next. Next we have. Serge Dutens, Sa Majesté la Rose. This is... Smallest French accent, by the way. I think this is like Rose Amplified. Yeah, so the other two are quite recent, but Sa Majesté la Rose is a... Uh... Oh, come on. This... <laughs> yeah, this isn't a new fragrance, so it's not like something that we can say is on trend because it's just been launched to match the Rose no. trend, but it's sometimes useful to kind of excavate something out from the previous mm -hmm. fragrances that happen to be back in fashion again, a bit like yeah. you might have a dress in your wardrobe this gone that's full kind circle. of gone, gone full circle yeah. and that's what happened with this yeah and this is uh, I, uh, <laughs> <laughs> you can't I can't even I <laughs> in such a good way it's okay so if you love the smell of everything rose if you yeah. love rose water if you love the smell of rose absolute if you ever had the opportunity to smell how mm. rose absolute smells how rose oil smells and how a rose in bloom smells. It blends all those elements. So it has kind of the perfumer's rose in there. Yes, but also... But also the real rose. The, yeah, the rose of real life. Um, it's just this really glorious rose. Yeah, like, it is amazing. But yeah, the, it, it's just... It's really this good. Stunning, like, honeyed. There's this kind yeah. of element of, like, the carnation, almost the Absolutely. spicy element of the rose. Almost whiny. All, yeah. Like, it's... So opulent. It is opulent. Rose. Now this is bling. That is the bling. shiniest bottle. <laughs> you yeah, you can totally do I, your lipstick in it. The new uh, Narciso Rodriguez Rose Musk. 
Woo, that's a good spray. <laughs> Whoa. Wow, 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 wow. This is actually, <laughs> actually an amber Gorgeous. bomb. It's, yeah, it's, it really it's is. It's modern synthetic amber and musk. Mm -hmm. um, just completely, woof. Yeah. And then there's a rose. Yeah. And the rose like is wafting around all of the amber. So it's like it is intensely kind of golden. It is. Throughout, but then the kind of like petals are just kind of going whoosh through these like engulfed clouds. Oh now you said golden, but it is a bit mm -hmm. like imagine you had some kind of rose confection with gold mm -hmm. leaf on top. So yeah. Like, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's like kind of one. that's kind of what this is actually. So you like can this for hand with gold leaves. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's it's incredibly rich. It's dense. really rich. So another fragrance that is worth uh, having a sniff of is Rose Silence by Miller Harris. We reviewed that in a separate episode, so yeah. do check that one out. Yeah. This is a very sort of airy, fresh, translucent rose. It's beautiful. Really intimate and sort of like warm skin. Really pretty. Really, really gorgeous. I think yeah. it's worth checking out that episode. Definitely. By the way, <laughs> while I was wearing all those rose fragrances, I happened to chance upon this new brand. Let's see, Margaret Dabs. And it's not like scented nail polish is a new idea. But it was just such a perfect match because this smells of rose water, rose oil. What? Yeah. What? I mean, it's basically <laughs> nail polish for the first like hour yeah. as it dries, and then it goes into wafts of rose. Mm -hmm. And sometimes I kind of kept sort of brushing my hair away from my face and thinking, "Why can I smell rose?" Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. The nail. <laughs> so I think this is quite clever. This is genius. I love the idea of scented nail polish. Yeah, me too. As long as it's not overpowering and yeah. it's not. It's very, very subtle and I also love the colour. It's like a tangerine I, I dream. love bright colours. We hope you've enjoyed exploring roses with us. Thank you very much for tuning in. We'll see you again next week. And subscribe. <laughs>